it's your girl Drea and welcome back to Drea's Corner. Thank you for stopping by and tuning in. So your girl is back again with another video today. Okay, no, so that's two in one day. So I'm doing good. <laughs> I'm proud of myself. Let me um roll up the windows a little bit. It's a beautiful um, Tuesday. Okay, a beautiful Tuesday in Houston, Texas. The weather is lovely. Guys, we have not had a cold winter at all, okay? At all. It's crazy. Like, it's usually cold <laughs> around this time, okay? Uh, a tradition that we do for Christmas is cooking gumbo down here in the south, okay? And we usually cook it because it be cold. Well, it was not cold, okay? But anyway, so that's no here or there. Anyway, so today's video is going to be about my COVID story, surviving COVID, okay? So guys, I broke out with the COVID. What is it? December 15th? I want to say it was December 15th. It was a Monday. I can tell you that. So that Monday, I think it was the 15th that day. No, the 15th was like a Wednesday. So that was like the, uh, the 13th. So on the 13th, that Monday, I come to work. Okay. I don't really go anywhere. I am a homebody, always have been, and that is just me. I've always been a homebody. So I really don't. So when the pandemic hit, it didn't bother me any. Okay. Guys, sorry, my eyes are a little puffy. I was up all night last night, and now I'm tired and I can feel it. So, my eyes might be a little puffy and my allergies is kicking in. Whatever. But anyway, so, like I was saying, um, I came in on, I don't go anywhere. So, when the pandemic happened, it wasn't a big issue for me because I'm used to being at home, you know. Uh, you know, I, I go to work and come out. Smoke, chill, drink, hang out. That's it. Okay. I don't do too much. I don't like going out. I don't like being around a bunch of people. I don't like picking. I pick. I, I can pick up people's energy. So that's why I don't like to be around a lot of people. Because I don't want to feel all that. You know. So I don't go nowhere. I go to work and come home and go to the grocery store. That's it. Okay. I've been avoiding COVID. And been COVID free for almost two years. Okay. So Monday I go to work. I was only there for two hours. Okay, we have a conference call at like 8 30 in the morning. So we get on the call and we uh the chaplain tells us because I work in healthcare, okay? So the chaplain tells us on the call that his everybody in his household has COVID. They tested positive for COVID over the weekend. So Friday that, that the Friday he came into the office but he wasn't he was only there for like a little bit and then he left so then he ended up going to um out into the field so monday he didn't come to the office so we thought we was all good right so next thing i know i see one of my co-workers who's an aunt most of every i'm the only black girl in my office okay most of the people I work with are anti-maskers. They don't believe in the vaccines. They they are their good old boy Republicans. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. They don't believe in none of this crap. Okay. So when I seen one of them with a mask on, I was like, wait, what's going on? What the fuck? Somebody tell me something. What's going on? Okay. Next thing I know, I just see her grab her shit and leave. I was like, the fuck going on? Okay. So then that's when my my coworker, my the other office coordinator, she comes to me and she's like, oh my God, Drea. She's like, I think Maggie has COVID. I was like, what? She's like, I think she has COVID. So the next thing you know, my boss starts calling us into her office one by one and starts testing us because we do test our employees or whatever our staff so <laughs> she ends up uh testing michelle michelle came back positive and then she tested me i was negative 
okay? She sent us all home anyway. The next day, that Tuesday, so we worked from home. That Tuesday night, I could not sleep. I have a very comfortable bed. I love my bed, okay? I could not sleep in that bed that night. I could not. For whatever reason, I have a bad uh, shoulder, my right arm and my right knee. I hurt them when I was young. So every time the weather changes, I usually have aches and pains in that in those areas. That particular day, the, no. It was my hips and my my back and my neck and it and I had a small little headache and it was like an annoying headache and I'm one of those people I don't take pills or I don't really take medication like that I just deal with stuff naturally you know I like natural stuff and I just deal with it so I didn't do nothing about it I was like I just put a heat pad on got on the couch tossed and turned my man came out he looking for me like where you at? Like, what the hell? Why you not in this bed? And so I was like, I don't know. I don't feel good. I was all warm and stuff. I was like, I don't feel good. I don't know what's wrong with me. My body's aching. All this and that. So then next thing. So then that's when the next. So that Tuesday, because this was in the middle of the night hours, okay? Like 2 a.m., okay? So Tuesday, um... That's when my boss tells us, okay, you have to come back with a negative COVID test and you got to go somewhere else to get it. And we was like, okay. So I was able to schedule me an appointment like that Wednesday um, at CVS. So I go up there, I go test myself, boom. The next day it comes back, I'm COVID positive. I'm like, fuck. Okay. So guess what now i'm at so now i'm out of work so we were out so she, my boss sends us an email basically saying like we're out we have to be out of work for like 14 days and so we're all freaking out and she's like we got to use our pto that they don't have any um covid uh relief or anything like that so we have to use our pto mind you i had i had been using my pto up recently to deal with personal stuff and then I was finna be taking some time off. So I was like, what the fuck? I barely got enough time. Like, what the hell? To be off for 14 days? What the hell? I got bills to pay, bitch. This is the rent check. What are you talking about? You know, so I was freaking out. <laughs> so, long story short, so that was Wednesday I find out. So that was the 15th when I found out. Okay. So instantly I caught, contact my doctor. And she did a telehealth visit with me over the phone. Um, we did a, a duo call since I got Android, right? So we did a duo visit. And then after that, after we did the duo visit, um, she gave me all kind of medication, like all kind of, she gave me antibiotics, a steroid, uh, um, inhaler. Um, she told me what vitamins I need to take, you know, and all this stuff. So I started taking vitamin C, zinc, um, and vitamin um, D. And so um, we did all that. And um, she sent me, she got me an order and set me up a, uh, and sent me to this place where I was able to get what is called a monoclonal antibody infusion okay and this is supposed to be a treatment that they have to help COVID-19 and um, the one that I got I think it was called BAM or something like that um, I have my paperwork in at home it was called like BAM or something like that there's three different types I seen on the news this morning that they said the best one that they know for sure for sure that works is the it starts with an X with an S is strobin or strovum or something like that. <coughs> I'm not really sure. You have to look it up. But um, um, I'm not really sure. Like I said, you have to look it up. But I know it's three different types of monoclonal infusions infusions that you can get to help treat the COVID-19. And I'm gonna be on. And what it does is it like um it mimics like your immune system to like help your your immune system fight and attack the uh the disease or the issue okay do your research okay 
But I will tell you, once I had it, it was, I felt so good. I really feel like it helped me. I felt so good because the first two to three days, so that from Tuesday to Friday, I was very congested. I had a small, mild headache. I was very congested. I had a bad cough. Like, it was bad. And I'm a smoker, okay? <laughs> okay, I smoke, okay? And um, I don't be coughing. Like, I cough when I smoke, but I don't have, like, a consistent, like, smoker's coffee, at least yet, you know? But I was coughing like a motherfucker, like, and when I do get sick, I get, like, bronchitis. So, when I was coughing, that's what it sounded like, like, bronchitis. Like, it was a real thick, <laughs> deep down under type of, <laughs> type of, uh, cough. So... I had the cough. I was congested and um, nasally. And what else? Sorry, guys. I am high. Okay. I don't want you to see my skin. <laughs> but anyway. So, um, I'm home. So, like I said, uh, I ended up getting um, that infusion. And... It, I feel like it worked. I feel like it helped me so much because I was feeling like shit. Like, I was drained a lot. That was another thing. I was very, um, I was very, um, uh, drained and just, I, I, I just felt tired. I just felt really tired. And so I stayed in the bed for like three days. Okay, so that was that. So I stayed in the bed for like three days. And so then after that, so I went and got that infusion like that Friday. Okay, and so once I got it, I felt so much better. I felt like I had a burst of energy. And um, she flushed me out with normal saline. I had a, a black nurse practitioner that actually performed the infusion and she also does like things for your skin um like she gives you collagen um stuff and stuff like that that's that's the type of stuff she does but i love her she she was great great amazing lady and really helped me so like i said um after i got the infusion i felt really good i felt like um i had a burst of energy and I just felt so much better. I felt like that helped me out so much. And so, um, yeah, guys. So, that was, um, and so, that was that Friday. And so, she tested me that very same day, too, because she was asking me. She was like, so, when are you going back to work? And I said, um, because it was the day before Christmas, yep, and she asked me, she was like, so when are you going back to work, and I said, um, I'm supposed to be going back next Tuesday, which is today, right, so I was like, well, I'm supposed to be going back next Tuesday, and she was like, well, when are you going to go get tested again, retest, I said, I'm going to retest on, um, on that, I was going to go that Sunday after Christmas. And so she was like, well, I can do it right now. Let's see. I said, okay. So she ended up testing me after I had the infusion. The infusion lasted for about an hour and a half because it's basically an IV drip, basically, that she put inside, they put inside your arm and it's just, it's flushing out your body or whatever, you know. And so I ended up doing that. So then after we did that, um, everything was all good she tested me i came back negative and so i was able to send all that information in and send it to my um my boss and i was able to come back to work today okay so that was my covid story it, it's crazy and the crazy part too guys is i was partially vaccinated i was due to go so i got the first vaccine i got the pfizer vaccine in november okay so that was november the 14th now at first i did not want to do it i was very adamant that i did not want to do it that i was against it i don't trust the government and i still don't trust the government but be being that i work in the healthcare field they were forcing us to get it that was another thing right before this outbreak happened they started pushing 
and forcing us to get it because of the new law Biden had pushed through for healthcare um, workers, companies that have over a hundred employees and getting paid by CMS, which most of us do get paid. If you getting paid by Medicare or Medicaid, which most healthcare companies do, nursing homes, nursing facilities, uh, hospitals, hospice, all that, we all get paid from those places. So therefore, they were forcing us to get the vaccine. So that's why I did it, not because I wanted to, it's because I was being forced to, because at the end of the day, I need a job. I have to work, you know, and this is my career. So I ended up going ahead and doing that. That was on the 14th of November. So I was supposed to go get my second shot on the 5th of December. So I was still hesitant. I was still waiting because from I was hearing that um, that's when you get sick. When you get the second dose is when you start to feel the symptoms, but it only lasts for one day. So I was avoiding. I was like, man, mm, I don't know. I don't know if I want to get this. I don't know. And then my dude, he works uh, on the road. So he happened to be in town that week. So I was like, okay, let me spend some time with him and then I'll do it next week. Then that next weekend came around. I had all these appointments I had to go take my son to and I just was tired. So I was just like, forget it. I'll do it next week. That next week is when I caught the COVID. I'm like, damn, I wonder, I'm just kind of curious. I wonder had I got the second shot <laughs> when I was supposed to, if I would have got it, I don't know. I don't know who knows. So now that I have tested positive for COVID, I can't get the second dose until like three months from now. So we are going to see how that all turns out and works out. But other than that, um, I am feeling so much better. I'm not even gonna lie. The, I was pretty much out of work for 10 days. And the whole time that I was out of work, um, I stayed so busy. I did so much stuff. When I say my house is immaculate, it is immaculate. Everything is in order. Every I clean that bitch from top to motherfucking bottom. I Lysoled and bleached the shit out that damn house, okay? And <laughs> threw away stuff, donated shit, all kind of shit, okay? I was busy, okay? So... It was much needed. I feel regrouped. I feel like, I don't know. I just had got this boost of energy and I just got this boost of inspiration. And so I'm just ready for the new year. I'm just ready to see what the new year about to bring. So that was my COVID story, guys. Surviving COVID, okay? And when I tell you it is breaking out in Houston, it just broke the fuck out. I don't know. I said, you know what? The government said, motherfucker, we gonna get y'all ass in line. We gonna get y'all motherfuckers in line. Oh, y'all don't want to take this vaccine? Oh, we about to unleash this shit on y'all motherfucking ass. And that, that's what, how I feel. That's my own personal opinion. I feel like the government said, fuck that. We about to get the ass in line. We about to unleash this shit everywhere. Let it out for the new, for the 99 and the 2000. So, okay. Let them roll. Because this motherfucker here is ridiculous. And it's all over the country right now. But in Houston, I I ain't even going to lie, y'all. Right around the 5th, because it was a weekend, that's when I heard on the news the first case of COVID that was here in Houston. When I heard that, that was the very same weekend I was supposed to go get the damn vaccine. Something told me then. I said, Drew, you need to go on here and do it. Because if you don't, by in, in another week or two, it's going to be all over this motherfucker. I don't know where. I'm telling y'all, I am in tune. I am highly. I, I, I got this undenying, unknown knowledge. I don't know where, how. It's just, it just be like that. But I ain't lying, y'all. No and behold. That bitch unleashed in Houston. Okay, when I tell you, they said just last week, I was watching the news this morning, they said just last week, they were reporting just in Houston, just in Texas, let's just say Texas, five thousand over 5,500 something cases per day. Okay, per day. There is 30 million people just in Texas, okay? 
just in Texas, okay? I think they said in Houston. I'm gonna look that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back over that. But I think they said last night um, we've grown to. Uh, we had a 1.1 percent increase of people moving here last year, and that it's like 30 million people. And they said it's every day last week they were reporting over 5,000 cases. It is running rampant everywhere. Damn near everywhere here. Everybody got it damn near by now. Everybody getting it. Especially after the holidays. It's like, because when I tell y'all that, that week that I got COVID, it seemed like that's when the whole motherfucking city broke out with COVID. Like, no lie. It seemed like the whole motherfucking city. Because, like, two days before, um, two days before Christmas, that's when everybody all the motherfucking testing sites just started getting flooded with um you know people trying to get tested and all this and that it, it was just crazy luckily i was able to get in a cvs get in and out and do what i need to do and get all my shit done um but it has been crazy and so my my son's school district they ended up um opening up a uh, a location at like the schools and other places um, where you can come and get free testing and free vaccines. So yesterday, I took my son to go get tested since he was in the house with me. And I stayed away from him and isolated the whole time. I made sure he had everything he needed to fend for himself and take care of himself while I stayed in the room um, for those, that whole week. Um, but just to be on the safe side, I went ahead and got him tested. So I'm waiting on his results. And then I'm going to, once I find out, you know, how he's doing, if he's fine or not, then I'm going to go ahead and probably get him vaccinated just to keep him safe and avoid this mess. But that is the end of this story, guys. Thank you for stopping by and tuning in to my channel. Make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, and the notification bell so you are notified every time I freaking upload a video, okay? You can follow me on Instagram at Divinely a Queen of Swords, Andrea's Corner 2020, okay? Thank you so much for tuning in, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Deuces!